Look at this. I just want to look at you. Can you talk? Talk. 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 Look at this. Keep, keep going. No, I don't have nothing to say yet. I want you to, but I want you, so I want the people to look at what I'm looking at. I, you're a spectacular human being. <laughs> Your hair right now is something out of the 70s or 80s. I don't know who you're about to play. The mullet. You're scaring the shit right out of me. It's your yep. fucking Theo Rossi mullet bill. I know where you're going. My mouth is sealed. You leave tomorrow morning. Holy shit, Rossi. Have you even stopped working? Have, are you the one of us stopped working? You're in, in a like, restaurant. You're in a restaurant in the middle of nowhere. So don't talk I'm to me. I'm in a working. restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's cool? is just to keep the Kim Coates theme. You have a picture behind you on that wall. Yeah, a little right picture. There, like, like right there. Right there. Just in I'm case. Not, I'm not going to tell my peeps, our peeps, if I put that up there on my own. <laughs> you secret. bring, you travel with a picture just to keep everybody. <laughs> well, listen, um, yeah, no, it's, it's you and I, this has been, uh, uh, oh, hold on. I'm out of focus. Let me fix it. Hold on. Um, you and I have been, uh, been, been on a run and it's, uh, and it's very, um, in the, in the tumultuous world we live in and, and, and everything that's going on, it's, extremely Ugh. fortunate um we try to bring some laughter and more importantly some kindness to to this crazy rock that we all spin on and um what we're uh gonna attempt today after you say a few words we'll uh, we'll let everybody know but it's gonna be a little different because of this really strange uh schedule that you and i are on i i don't even know how to spell schedule <laughs> let alone try to explain what you and I are on right now. But what you've always kind of put out there in the forefront is we're not going to miss a week. No, we're not. We're just going to, no matter where we are, no matter what we're doing. And if you think Theo over the past couple of weeks, Maggie Sip, okay. Finishing off season six. Okay. Like we've been on a uh, great punctuation mark before we start season seven. Yeah. And everybody knows that's it. Season seven's it. Yeah, 13. that's it. That's it. And, 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 you know, again, that's, we have so much else happening, right. With theory and we have the mushroom thing. We have our solo videos and, you know, there's so many things that on the back burner, we have a bunch of people we want to talk to. We have so much stuff. So there's a lot that's coming. Oh, a lot. But, but we wanted to take this moment. Because let's be completely honest, as we always are, we haven't even had a chance to watch episodes. We just don't have with our schedule, right? We, we literally, I mean, the episodes are nine, 900 hours long. We don't, we, don't, we don't have the time. You're filming, I'm leaving, and then I'm gone for a couple of months. Um, yeah. I'll be, I'll be in and out. Shit. Yeah. And what we wanted to do is we don't miss a week. It's our thing. Oh. We don't do it. No. Nope. So I'm wearing a red shirt and glasses for a reason. The red. Please do share. It symbolizes the heinous amounts of bloodshed the first six seasons that went on in this show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, wearing, I'm wearing my Caesar hoodie because yeah. it's the only clothes I have when I'm the on. The only clothes you have. So, yeah. I love it. And then right. I'm wearing glasses to shield myself from the from the saltiness and the, and the thoughts I have about season seven that's coming because it gets, it's going to get bright up there. All right. It gets salty. It's salty. Salty salt. We have a no! lot. Season seven was a pinnacle for honest Harry and salty Sal that it was, <laughs> there was so much going on on that show. And before we get into it, we wanted to do everyone who hears us proper by one acknowledging that i can't believe we're fucking still doing this at this point <laughs> number no, one two it's like it's two years so i can't it's fucking madness what, what the hell happened it. what happened you, you last sued me two years ago when i was up in canada hanging out you know the whole pandemic what and you go well just come on let's just boom two yeah. years we're done. We used, to, we used to watch just random episodes. <laughs> we didn't know what we that were was doing. your idea. That was I my was, idea. I was crying under idea. my pillow nightly. <laughs> no, no, not season two, episode 10. I don't even know what happened the first eight before it. I got to watch wow. eight. Like, no. 
What a terror. That was the first three seasons. We eventually <laughs> corrected the boat because it was it was about the Titanic right off the rails. <laughs> that dinghy was bouncing into rocks and Ooh. Titanic itself went off of fucking, yeah, igloo. It was a mess. So we're calling this the Reaper Recap. Oh, good. And what we're going to do is we're not just going to recap what we just watched over the se- this, uh, six seasons, the incredible guests we have, but also to acknowledge what's been going on the last two years by creating this community and the people who are here and to acknowledge, I mean, the world has, you and I, this has been, this is what I love. I'm a big consistency person. I do. I eat the same thing every day. I run every day. I go to bed almost the same time. I wake up at the same time, depending on work. I am a consistent person. What I love about this show, what has happened, and it's not just you and I, it's the people that actually listen to it and watch it. And then obviously everyone behind the scenes, Justin Caesar with the incredible gear, Carolyn Kawash does our editing and everyone else who's been a part of it, the guests, everyone, is the consistency in the mayhem that has gone on in the world in the last two years and continues to go on. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, go ahead. It's just been our, like the fact that we get up here hell's bells no matter what and we're doing this no matter what it is i feel like it's so much i'm glad that people enjoy it but it's also so much for me because it helps like i I mean look at we're working more than ever because i think it's helped us in our filming it's helped us in our life it's helped us together it's helped us help other people who are enjoying it you and i get to connect like crazy like even though we did before this yeah. Not more than, not like this, right? Oh. So I think that the consistency of it is the thing I appreciate the most. And then we'll talk about actually watching the fucking show and theory and all that other stuff. But I mean, just tell me, what do you feel about Yeah, that? you, well, you deserted me, first of all, when you left LA. You deserted me, you deserted your, your LA pals. So yeah. for me to be able to see you and your mom and your pals and Mona and Megan, when you left was like, harder because we were both so busy but it really dawned on me when we started this thing and you called me up and said we should do this I mean heck Theo we've had reviews about your our show that were in the top 10 top Mm. five number one overall for the reason you just talked about we are who the fuck cares we are learning with all our amazing family, family and peeps and, 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 and fans out there with the show of Sons of Anarchy. We get to connect, but it really hit home when we had been doing it for about eight, nine months when you were flying to L.A. to do True Story, which mm. you were fucking brilliant in. And I finally got to see you. But do you remember? It was a, barely a fist pump. We couldn't really hug. No. Pandemic's on. You're about to shoot a massive fucking thing. We have to take care and be safe and be smart. So that was amazing. Um, and, and to be able to hang with you and to be able to talk to you every week has been a, a godsend for me to try and keep me somewhat same, sane. And this guy I'm playing right now, um, I mean, you just brought up the world. I mean, I think the thing that you and I do together which is we, we could be as political as, as anybody. Mm-hmm. I mean, and, and we do have uh, uh, politics in our heads at all times. You have to be if you want to be well read and smart in the world we live in. But can't really, don't want to really talk a lot about it because my family gets it from me. My friends get it from me. The people I'm close to get it from me happily talking about the world and the problems we have going on today, tomorrow, and, and, and a week from now and a year from now, whatever. But this show that we're doing called The Reaper Reviews and the Theory, theory Pod over on Patreon and Caesar and the people you just mentioned, it's fucking great. And you can feel it, Theo. You can feel mm-hmm. it on the, on the social media, the growth of this whole thing and the love of this whole thing and the kindness of this whole thing. And I think that's really rare. Hey, guys. Hey, if guys. If you want to see this full episode... Uh, click on our subscription service down below yep. where we have not just the rest of the Reaper review episodes, but we have everything else, which is our other show theory, discord, have- merchandise, Q and A's so much going on. I, I can't even keep up the uh- greeting videos that we come on, come on our merch shops, our exclusive gear. Plus again, our other show theory. 
yeah. that Kim and I also do. So, hey, uh, continue the journey of Reaper Reviews and also come start the new journey with our theory show. And uh, that's it. We'll see you there. We appreciate it. See you soon. It. Can't wait. Appreciate you Bye. all. Let's go. Bye-bye.